In this video, you're going to learn about the payment settings for Authorize.net. First, click on the name of the site you're working on. Scroll down and click on Modules. Select the e-commerce module. Scroll down and click on Payment Settings. Check the box next to Authorize.net and click on Settings. This is a custom label field. This allows you to give this a custom label. This is your usage limitations. This allows you to choose which countries it will be available for and which members it will be available for. You can also select an order total range. This is where you fill in the one-time payment settings. You would select your service provider from the drop-down. You would then enter your merchant login, your transaction key. If you want to test this, you can choose to put this in test mode. You can choose the duplicate prevention period time. This is your reoccurring billing settings. Again, you need your merchant login, you need a transaction key, and you can also test this one by putting it into test mode as well. Here you can choose which credit cards you're going to accept, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover. With this setting, you can require the card verification number by checking the box. You can also choose how long to keep the credit card numbers. This box allows you to enter any special payment instructions that you would like to put here. This allows you to change the text on the payment button. Scroll down and click on save when you're done. 